Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, I will be showing you everything about the Mercedes-Benz 130. An overview, origin, design, production, price range and more. So don't go anywhere. Keep watching. The 130 model was entirely different from all other preceding designs of the Mercedes-Benz. It was also a tough automotive design. The Mercedes-Benz 130 was released in Berlin at the IAMA in 1932 as the first rear-engine car, the first four-cylinder model from Dielmer, and also the first volume-produced German rear-engine car. In 1932, it was well represented at the 2000 km through Germany as part of its speed test. Six of this chassis took part in this test, and three of them finished strong and were awarded one gold medal for finishing in the allocated time, a silver medal for finishing 30 minutes over the allocated time, and a bronze medal for finishing less than 60 minutes over the allocated time. The Mercedes-Benz 130H is a unique model that was produced in Germany by Daimler-Benz AG around 1931 to 1939. It was the first among three models which were the Mercedes-Benz 150 and 170H. The 130H model was arguably the most intriguing challenge the automotive design ever faced. Keep watching and I'll tell you why. Before the 130H model was its predecessor. Rumpler Chassis Topfenwagen, which was produced between 1923 to 1926, and its successors the Mercedes-Benz 150 and 170H models. The 130H model is characterized by a large swing axle, comfort of a modern medium car, and a normal running cost of a small car. The Benz 130H has a power of 26 PS, 19 kilowatt and has the ability to speed up to 92 km per hour. It is equipped with a synchronized 4-speed gearbox which sits in front of the rear axle. This vintage car needed proper balance because of the position of the engine which makes it extremely unbalanced having two-thirds of the mass on the rear axle. Due to this challenge, the 130 was speedily succeeded by 150H in 1936. The design of the Mercedes-Benz 130 was very intriguing and unique, with a spacious interior. Though very small in size, its interior contained two folding front seats and two large doors which explicitly gave access to the back seat with so much comfort. A large windscreen in front revealed a broad view of the outside. The engine is housed at the rear of the vehicle behind the back seat. The prop shaft was removed in the design of this model thereby causing the engine to yield more output and also preventing transmission losses. Now let's get to why this model was quite challenging. In 1932, Daimler & Co. desired a spatial design, which gave rise to the 130H design, which was the first four-cylinder model ever made with its engine placed at the rear end of the car, hence the H, which is represented as heck in German. The Benz 130H was produced by Daimler with the assistance of Hans Nebel in 1930. Daimler desired to change his vehicle designs to rear engine and he committed the project to Hans, who then produced the 130H, then went further to produce the 150 and 170H models afterward. The Benz 130 was not mass produced because it was not very balanced. We may be having a number below 50 units. All Mercedes-Benz series have their uniqueness, which also has so much impact on the price. The Mercedes-Benz 130H and its models are not exempted, although the 130H was not mass-produced due to the low demand which was caused by its unbalanced nature. A number of top people loved its spatial front and rear engine. No vehicle possessed this feature, so riding the 130 gave you the celebrity look. The Benz 130 in our present day should cost between $76,000 to $83,000, which is quite the sum, right? That's all for today guys, I'm sure you love this video, so hit that like button and stay tuned for more classic car videos.